Five relationship red flags. Five dating red flags. Relationship advice for men and women. Uh, my name is Lena Semenek and welcome to my channel Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. Today I will talk from a female perspective, but if you're a guy and you're watching my videos, so welcome. Uh, no worries, uh, uh, relationship red flags and dating red flags are identical for guys, so no worries, keep watching. Let's start. Number one is look how he treats people with lower status. Uh, waitress in the restaurant, uh, people are on the street, uh, homeless people. So at the beginning of the relationship, everyone wants to show his best qualities. So, but how do you know, should you invest in this guy or not? How can you learn about his uh, negative qualities? By looking how he treats people with lower status. He doesn't have to impress them. So pay attention. And if you don't like how he treats other people, then probably one day he will be showing same qualities towards you. So this is the red flag. Number two is to pay attention how he treats people with higher social status. Why? Because you need to know if he is going to be successful in the future or not. If uh, he respects other people's achievement, if he values success, then he will surround himself with successful people and the other people's success will motivate him to be successful. So do you want to be with a successful guy? Of course, yes. So look how he treats people who achieve big, great career in their life or who build good business in their life. Also very important, pay attention if he values social status more than the personal qualities. And if yes, then this is a red flag because later you will have to prove him over and over again that you are good enough. Your social status might go up, might go down. You're going to have different people around and some people can be more or less successful than you. So you will have, you will have to constantly prove him that you're good enough. So do you want to be happy or you want to live with the person uh, and prove him every day that you are good enough. Number three is to meet his five closest friends. Uh, we all a product of five people that we can go with the most. Uh, and if you absolutely don't like something about his friend, then this is a red flag. Because people make best friends only when they have common interests, common goals, uh, when they share common values in life. So if you don't like or can't stand something in his friend behavior or quality, then this is a red flag. Unfortunately, there is a huge chance, like 99.9% .9 that he shares the same quality, but right now he's hiding it. Number four is history of long lasting relationship. So. The general rule, if the guy is older than 25 and he never lived with any girl, he never been in a relationship that lasts more than a year, then this is a red flag because he has a trust issue and he has a commitment issue in 99.9% .9 of the time. And at some time he will decide that you are not good enough for him or he will put huge, like high expectation uh, on you that what you have to do in relationship or what you should do in relationship and then you're gonna constantly prove him over and over again that you are a great girl and uh, at the beginning of the relationship it might look that he's an amazing person he's a sweet he's caring he's an amazing guy but if he never had a long-lasting relationship, pay attention. This is a red flag. And number five is pay attention what he says about his ex. If he is saying that he is like a perfect boyfriend or perfect man and his ex was uh, the bad one, she, she betrayed him, she lied to him, she disrespected him, 
she was such and such and such and he was like the perfect man in the relationship then this is the red flag there are always two people in the relationship and there are no uh, ideal people there are no perfect people there are no perfect relationship so uh, it's okay and it's normal when people have misunderstandings when they have some conflicts when they have to solve some problems in the relationship so it's not post possible for one to be perfect and for the second one to be like the cause of all the problems no and if he's blaming his ex in everything or he's saying that he is um, he had the bad luck then pretty soon he's gonna blame you in all his problems and he's gonna blame you in all misunderstandings in the relationship he's gonna blame you that you lied to him that you disrespected him and all those bad things that he said about his ex so uh, the person should take responsibility in the relationship we all do mistakes and sometimes we are rude sometimes we angry sometimes we disrespectful sometimes we behave terrible so it's not possible for someone to be perfect all the times and for another person to be the bad one all the times so people should learn from their relationship and if the person is saying that yes you know my ex she had some good qualities but she had those qualities that unfortunately i could not Mm, accept so in this case person is accepting uh, that he did something wrong it's not only about his ex and if he learned something from the relationship and he wants to build a better relationship then this is a good sign but if he's blaming her and saying that he is a mr. perfect then this is a red flag for you let's summarize so five a relationship red flags five dating red flags number one is uh, pay attention how he treats people with a lower status number two pay attention how he treats people with a higher status number three uh, pay close attention to five his best friends so five people that he hang out with the most uh, number four history of long-lasting relationship and number five what he's saying about his ex if you want to know how to tell if someone is lying how to spot a liar the link to another video will be below this one make sure to watch it click thumbs up if you like this video share it with your friends on twitter facebook support my channel subscribe click the bell icon to receive notification of new videos that i release every week and thank you for watching psychology of happiness where happiness is the purpose of life